Welcome to the Excel tip video from Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you the seven most important tools in Excel, which I believe every Excel user should know. Those tools are text to columns, filter, sort, remove duplicates, flash fill, conditional formatting, and data validation. So very quickly, let me show you how to and when to use these tools. Text to columns. To split the data in a column into different columns according to the delimiters like comma, colon or space that separate them, we can use the text to columns feature in Excel. Take a look at this data here. These are the address of the top 10 companies in the world. First comes company name, comma, locality, comma, state, comma, country. Now to split this data into four different columns, that is company, locality, state, and country into four different columns according to the commas that separate them. Select this data, go to the data tab, text to columns, text to columns wizard is activated. Here we have the preview of the selected data. Make sure that delimited option is selected. Click on next. Here we have to specify the delimiter that separate the data. In our case, comma is the delimiter. Mark the checkbox against comma. And here is the preview of the output. Our data will be split into four different columns according to the comma in between. Click on next. This input box can be used to define the destination. That is the cell where you want to place the output. Click on this app arrow. We'll select this cell D3. When I click on finish, See the data in this single column is split into four different columns according to the comma in between. Filter. To segregate data that satisfy a particular condition or conditions, we can use the filter tool in Excel. See the sales report here. These are the records of a particular company that deals with electronic gadgets in the locations Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, etc. Now if you want to see the records of Mumbai and Cochin locations only, select any of these cells here, go to the data tab, click on filter, see all the column headers are now having filter heads. To filter the records for Mumbai and Cochin locations, click on the filter head for location, unmark the checkbox against select all, mark Cochin, Mumbai, OK. And these are the sales happened at Mumbai and Cochin. Again, if you want to see the smartwatch sales happened at Mumbai and Cochin, click on the filter head for category, select all, smartwatch, OK. And these are the smartwatch sales happened at Mumbai and Cochin. To remove the filter, either you can click on the filter button or use the shortcut Ctrl Shift L. The same shortcut can be used to apply filter. Select any of these cells. Control Shift L. See the column headers are now having filter heads. For the sales figures that are greater than 5 lakh, click on the filter head for amount. Number filters. Greater than. Type in 5 lakh. When I click OK, we have the sales figures that are greater than 5 lakh. Sort. To arrange our data in the alphabetic, reverse alphabetic, descending or ascending order of the values, we can use the sort tool. Let me show you some of the sorting options in Excel. Here we have the employee details of a particular company, employee names in the first column, joining dates in the second column, department in the third column, and gross salary in the fourth column. Now to arrange this table in the alphabetic order of employee names, Select any of these cells here, go to the data tab, click on sort. The dialog called sort is activated and the entire table is automatically selected. To sort this table on the basis of values in the first column, in the sort dialog, select the corresponding column, sort on cell values, order should be A to Z. For reverse alphabetic order, go for Z to A. 
when i click okay the entire table is rearranged in the alphabetic order of employee names now if you want to sort this table in the descending order of salaries that means larger salaries on the top of the table and smaller salaries in the bottom sort salaries in the column called gross salary sort on cell values order should be largest to smallest click ok now the table is arranged in the descending order of salaries one more sorting option to sort this table on the basis of cell background colors select any of these cells here click on sort colored cells are in the column called department sort on cell color to send the yellow colored cells and corresponding records to top of the table select yellow now to move the blue colored cells and corresponding records to bottom i will make a copy of the sorting level select blue color on bottom click okay yellow colored cells and corresponding records came to the top blue colored cells and corresponding records came to the bottom remove duplicates to get rid of the duplicates from a data set we can use the remove duplicates tool in excel take a look at this data this sales report is of a particular company which deals with electronic gadgets in the locations mumbai bangalore hyderabad beijing etc now i want to create two lists from this data first one is the list of locations where this company is operating second one is the list of products this company is dealing with as you can see both these columns are having many duplicate values so to get rid of the duplicates i will copy this column control c we'll paste it here control v select any of these cells here go to the data tab remove duplicates remove duplicates dialog is activated and all those cells containing the locations are automatically selected now when i click on okay 38 duplicate values found and removed eight unique values remain and these are the locations where the company is operating now for the list of products we'll copy this column we'll paste it here remove duplicates when i click okay 37 duplicate values found and removed 11 unique values remain and these are the list of products which this company is dealing with one more example with multiple columns of data another sales report on a closer look you can see most of the records of this report are repeated multiple times Now to remove the duplicate records from this table select any of these cells here remove duplicates remove duplicates dialog is activated entire table is selected and all the column headers of the table are listed in this dialog click okay 40 duplicate values found and removed 26 unique values remain flash fill flash fill is a kind of magic tool which will repeat whatever the user showed to excel it can be used to extract data combine data split data and many more things let me show you some of the uses of flash fill here we have a list of few celebrities now to extract the first name from all these names listed here type in one of the first names in the adjacent column sachin enter go to the data tab click on flash fill all the first names are extracted into the adjacent column now for the last names type in one of the last names enter flash fill and the last names are extracted now for the initials a space r enter control e is the shortcut for flash fill press control e 
and the initials are created. Now to convert all these letters into upper case, type in one of the names in upper case, enter, control E. All the names are converted into upper case. Now for lower case, flash fill. Conditional formatting. To highlight a cell or cells that satisfy a particular condition or conditions, we can use the conditional formatting tool in Excel. Let me show you some practical use of conditional formatting. Here we have the employee details of a particular company, employee names in the first column, date of joining in the second column, gross salary in the third one, and travel allowances in the fourth column. Now I want to identify the employees who have joined in between the years 2012 and 2016. To be more specific, the employees who have joined in between the dates 1st of January 2012 and 31st of December 2016. For that, select the cells containing joining dates. In the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, Between, Type in 1st of January 2012. End date should be 31st of December 2016. And I want to highlight these cells in green fill with dark green text. Okay. These are the employees who have joined in between the dates 1st of January 2012 and 31st of December 2016. And if I modify any of these dates here, we'll make the year to 2015 and the formatting of the cell got updated. Now to find the three largest among these gross salaries listed here, select these cells, conditional formatting, top bottom rules, top 10 items, modify 10 to 3, OK. And these are the three largest salaries. For the smallest three among these travel allowances, select the cells containing travel allowances, condition formatting, top bottom rules, bottom 10 items, three, yellow fill with dark yellow text, okay. And these are the smallest three among these values. Data validation. Data validation is often used to create drop down lists which will make data entry easier. See the student admission details here. When I select any of the cells in these three columns, an arrow will appear on the right side of the selected cell. When I click on the arrow, I have a menu with different options. We'll select engineering, finance. Now the second column. Here the options are different, male, female, other. The drop down list in the third column can be used to define age. That means we don't have to type in any data here. Just click on a cell, make a selection from the available choices which in turn will save a lot of time. Now let me show you how to create drop down list like this using data validation. To create drop down menus in these cells with the options engineering, arts and science, type in engineering, arts, science. Select the cells where you want to create the drop down list. Go to the data tab data validation under the heading validation criteria list in this input box we have to specify the source for the drop down list click inside the box select the cells containing the options for the drop down menu when i click ok an arrow appeared on the right side of the active cell indicating that this cell is having a drop down menu.
Now if you want to add a new item to the drop down menu, move these cells downward, type in the new option, finance, see the drop down menu has been updated with the new item. For the drop down menu in the second column, we will use another method to define the source. We will select these cells, data validation, list. In the input box for the source, type in the options for the drop down menu. Male, comma, female, comma, other. OK. See the drop down menu has the options male, female, and other. For age, we'll create a number series from 17 to 30. Select these cells, data validation, list, click on this up arrow, select the cells containing numbers, click on this down arrow, OK. And here is the drop down menu to specify the age. So that was an introduction to the seven most important tools in Excel. Videos describing each of these tools in detail are available in this channel. So whenever you have time, please visit the video section of the channel and see what I have got. Thanks for watching and wish you a great day.